की आवाज अक्स टीवी रीचिंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम अक्स टीवी के खबरनामे में आपका खैर मकदम है पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे इट इज इंडीड ए मोमेंट एस अकेशन टूडे as it marks the realization of the dreams of crores of telanganites who made relentless efforts and agitations over several decades at the same time my government cannot forget the sacrifices of hundreds of youngsters who played a key role in the last one and a half decade long movement for achieving statehood for telangana they loved that telangana so much that they did not bother about their career studies and even sentiments of their parents for them the driving force was only a belief that crores of fellow telanganites would have a bright future with a little sacrifice of kids no one can measure the value of the sacrifices of these sons and daughters of the soil keeping in mind their sacrifice for the cause of telangana my government is determined to extend rupees 10 lakhs as monetary assistance to each of the bereaved families besides government job will be provided to one eligible person in each such family cultivable land would be provided in case the family is involved in farming apart from housing to the needy along with free education and health care to their family my government is committed to root out political corruption at any cost considering the social structures in telangana my government is formulating several programs for the welfare of the people we are conscious of the fact that lakhs of families are still living below the poverty line and millions of children are not in a position to access good education it is precisely for this reason that my government had decided to lay particular emphasis on the welfare of scs sts bcs minorities and the poor among other sections of society by spending 1 lakh crore rupees in the coming 5 years with reference to welfare of scs i am share with you all that expected results couldn't be derived from various sc welfare programs in the past hence my government is now keen to see that the fruits of all those schemes are enjoyed by the deserving in order to see that their eyes are filled with sparks of ecstasy my government would allocate rupees 50000 crores during the next 5 years we will create a dedicated wing in the social welfare department which will implement the special component plan we will ensure that not even a single paisa is diverted from the funds meant for sc welfare schemes and that no pilferage is allowed since tribals constitute a sizable proportion of the state's population my government will provide up to 12% reservation in respect of education and government employment we are also keen to confer st status to kaiti lambadas and valmiki boyas as bc welfare is equally important for my government we have decided to take up a comprehensive development of bcs by spending rupees 25000 crore over the next 5 years through a full proof mechanism 
to improve the status of weavers who constitute a major chunk among the BCs, my government has decided to constitute an expert committee to study the conditions of toddy tappers, hand movers, and all other artisans so that appropriate measures could be taken for their development. Telangana has seen a healthy integration of people belonging to different religions, languages, and cultures. People have always lived here in harmony. Telangana is known for its Ganga Jamuna Tehzeeb. It is the responsibility of my government to take care of the interests of minorities. In this, this, in this direction, we are committed to provide up to 12% reservation to them. We are going to provide an unprecedented annual allocation of rupees 1,000 crores budget for the welfare of minorities. I am reminded of how Mahatma Gandhi praised the composite culture of Telangana, enriched by tolerance and harmony. In 1927, in his address at the VV College, Hyderabad, we will take appropriate steps for the preservation of Urdu language. Pension to the needy cannot be a meager amount, serving no purpose. All these years, we have claimed to provide pensions to the poor, though the quantum of the pension is most insufficient to make both ends meet. Now, as part of the welfare measures, my government will provide a monthly pension of Rs. 1,500 to the physically handicapped. As a special care towards the welfare of the poor, the meek and the weak, we will introduce a monthly pension of Rs. 1,000 to the aged. Even destitute women would get a monthly pension of Rs. 1,000. BD workers having, facing financial distress would be paid an allowance of Rs. 1,000 per month. Housing is one of the basic needs of the people. We wish to take up dignified housing for the poor. Each unit would have two bedrooms, a hall and a kitchen with separate bath and toilet facilities so that every family dwelling in them would live with self-respect and confidence. This model would be constructed at the cost of rupees 3 lakh per house. My government is committed to provide compulsory and free education from KG to PG with CBSC syllabus in English medium to all the needy students. A welfare fund will be constituted with a corpus of rupees 10 crores for journalists whose role in achieving Telangana state was immense. Just playing in Telangana state will be exempted from tax. Accident insurance will also be extended to them as well as workers in construction sector. A large number of youth who had migrated to the Middle East and North Africa are facing problems. Hence, my government will set up a special wing to address the problems of such non-resident Indians. We will draw up special plans to ensure the welfare of the workers in the Gulf region as well as their rehabilitation. My government will extend a special Telangana increment to all the government employees along with health cards to them. Let me make it clear that we would like to have an employee-friendly governance. I am confident that this would motivate employees to be public-friendly to rebuild Telangana country can prosper unless women power is harnessed. Therefore, we are charting an elaborate program for the welfare of women. Strict enforcement of laws regarding women's safety and security, particularly protection of women from domestic violence, will be monitored. Keeping in mind the large number of women employees working in Hyderabad city, particularly in the IT sector, special focus on tight security and maintenance of law and order will be the priority of my government. We will work hard to make Hyderabad a safe haven for working women round the clock. In other words, our endeavor is to capacitate them and encourage them to play an effective role in all aspects of nation building. As an initial measure to reduce debt burden and to bring fresh hope and vigor, a waiver of crop loan up to rupees one lakh to each farmer will be implemented. Also, Tax exemption will be provided to agriculture tractors and trolleys. Areas of agrarian stress will be identified where farmers are distressed and teams will be sent for appropriate counseling. In order to support this sector with path-breaking research and development, an agricultural university will be established. On-field university will also be set up to strengthen the agriculture sector. I am proud to inform that one-third of the nation's poultry industry is located in Telangana. To further boost this industry, incentives would be provided
to entrepreneurs and farmers to take up poultry farming on a large scale. Tell parts of efforts to tone up public health. My government will establish super specialty hospitals in all the districts. Adequate bed capacity would be added in all primary and secondary level hospitals. The existing 108 and 104 services will be strengthened and operationalized. Telangana will formulate the best industrial policy, which will give the required boost to the economy. A model system of single window clearance will be put in place. A special chasing cell, SCC, will be attached to the Chief Minister's office to give speedy clearances to the upcoming projects with zero corruption and no harassment to potential investors. We would worry all will be promoted between Hyderabad and Warangal to boost employment opportunities. We will pursue would like to transform Hyderabad into a world-class city with a distinct brand image. Various steps such as cleaning and protection of the Musi River and other water bodies of the Twin Cities will be taken up. In addition, basic requirements such as pipe drinking water, underground drainage systems and stormwater salate systems, scientific collection and clearance of garbage will ensure control of pollution and maintenance of sanitation leading to a clean, green, pollution-free Hyderabad. We will strive to make Hyderabad a slum-free urban conglomerate by establishing planned satellite township as per the specific master plans, which will accommodate those proper poorer sections and migrants who come in search of a better future to the city of fortune, Bhagya Nagari. To make it a delight for any international traveler and for local residents, facilities like expressways, rapid mass transport systems, domestic airports are planned to be undertaken strictly as per a visionary master plan prepared in consultation with international agencies, incorporating the best of the most livable cities of the world, such as Melbourne, Vienna, Vancouver, Toronto, etc. In short, my Hyderabad, a safe zone and an attractive investment destination, law and order will be the top priority for my government. There will be constant surveillance with a network of CC cameras and other advanced technical gadgets covering the entire urban agglomeration to make it a safe city on the lines of London and New York. Any offense, spirit of democratic governance, my government would like to constitute a state advisory council drawing its expertise from the civil society. Moreover, intellectuals, media representatives, voluntary organizations, social activists, various professionals and others will be part of this advisory council. Chivariga, Sarva Jana Hitaya, Sarva Jana Sukhaya, Ide Telangana Rashtra Prabhutam Lakshayam Ashayam Jai Hind. Khabar Rame Gaze Bulletin Mein Humare Saath Rhenne Ke Liye Shukriya Mazid Jan Kariyon Ke Liye Dekhte Rahiye Hux TV. Hux Ki Aawaz, Hux TV. Reaching around the world.